welcome. We are here with the Round Rock Express as we are going to check out one of our top prospects and Triple A and Daniel Espinino. Uh, this will be his second start of the season. We will be playing with him. For, we will be working with him for the first time and seeing what he is, what he is bringing to the table with the Round Rock Express. So almost ready to get Espinino went seven and third in. Gave up nine hits with a 123 whip. No walks and 11 strikeouts. So, so lifted a little bit of pressure right looking pretty good. Win number two. We'll see how it goes and we'll go from there. Ready to go now. And now the center fielder, number 85. The center fielder, number 85. <clears throat> And he deals. Swing and a miss. And we're underway. First pitch. Seven and away. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. We want to get a good look at Espinino, kind of, kind of figure out where he's going to fit in the plans the in the later right years. Into the outfield base hit. Man aboard See on what the he's going to fit in the plans in the later years. So. Count. Too good of a pitch to Honestly, I think he'll keep that you know, man off maybe come race. up in the next year or two, depending on how things go. So next, Miguel Vargas. Three hits last night. So he was a big factor in getting that win. Well, honestly, if he First keeps working the way he's working this year, he may be up next year. I don't know. It's a little too early to tell, but, you know, speculating is a decent run. Uh, Good eye right one thing there. also we're going to do over the next couple of uh, over the next couple of videos, I'm going to start highlighting highlighting some of the guys in AAA at least. Yeah, at like... Uh, well, we're going to start highlighting some of the guys in the minors. I'm going to look Swing at... And, miss. and the count is one and two. I'm going to feature the the, uh, the draft picks from this past year for sure. Uh, definitely going to feature right some deals. top prospects and that's down with and the away. Rangers. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna feature some top prospects with the Rangers for sure. For you know, Espinino being one. Uh, uh, we'll we'll do one we'll do one with uh, uh, I want to say Robertson with uh, Robertson Torino at some point. Uh, we're gonna run through a couple of guys in the minors, just kind of you know give everybody a uh, give everybody an insight into what what the future might look like. Here comes here. a pitch. Uh, hit hard, base hit. <clears throat> fired in quickly so it's I put up two other episodes which should be I put up two other episodes one with Jack one one with uh, Jack Flaherty pitching and one with uh, Jordan Montgomery it kind of just you know it's one of those things where kind of pick I'm just kind of picking what I want to work with just misses but well, we got one out. We got two guys on. Uh, Espinito having a little bit of a issue. Or I don't know if it's I'm having an issue or what. But, you know, we'll see. The one one is fouled, fouled off. off. Yeah, the righty deals. Got him with strike three. Well, that's always the key to so. effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become Got defensive. Got him with the and out there. The hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter. Before really? You recognize You're going to call that a ball? To the strikeout. Are you blind? First and second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Back toward him with the breaking ball, just got the corner. 
There's nothing you can really do with that. Next offering is foul back. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And the inning is over. We'll go to the bottom of the first. 0-0. Zero, zero. All right, so they got two hits. But nothing to speak of. Welcome back. And Kevin Stone is going to start. Holy ball. mother of... And his last star Damn. Couldn't carry his warm-ups in the bullpen out to the mound. Couldn't get out of the Ooh. first inning. Very frustrating a, for a this guy. A 135 ERA. On I didn't think that was possible. His team to a win. Jesus. Damn. Back here at the ballpark. Top of the second. All right, we got another coach. Holy. Holy. Man. Uh, Holy. Holy. Now the right hander That was one of those where I that one missed. Yeah, That's a I, really good take. Right I got there. nothing. <laughs> Slider down and in. That was Very great. Difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. That one fouled off. Kicks and fires. Sharp grounder. That one is hit for the infield. Base hit. He was all over that one. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes well, me think he was thinking about hit there to start off the inning. into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. I mean, at least for me, it seemed to be a running running thing here, so we'll see. I'm still getting used to this, the way he throws, so. Oh, that one got blasted into the outfield, and we got runners at first and second, but nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's Andy the key. Pages he still had to play. extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Kicks and deals. And a good eye there. Way to lay off that pitch down. Pages signed out of Cuba. The one one is fouled off. Fouled off. off. Count goes from one and two. Choi over at second. Wagner on at first with nobody out. Ah. Next pitch Count misses. Goes even. It's two and two. Got him. Ooh, and now got him with that one. Well, we get our first out here. We got Here's Andy Pages. Dalton rushing is coming to the plate. 368 on the year. Lies on the double play ball in this spot. So got to be no careful. better way to get out of this inning. Second inning here, no score. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Sometimes being lucky is That's a swing and miss. Four, if he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Deal two. Tap back to the mound. Now two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. The ball was hit back to Espinino. Espinino so went ahead and just popped over. first. Here's so. the center fielder. I would back into the leadoff hitter. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. And that, that one hit back up the middle. middle. Gets through. One run's one gonna run's score. In. Second run's in. The run scores from and second. that was the score. So we're now down two, two nothing as really nice uh, De Paula ends up with his second hit. Pitch. This one ended up Just being a two run out. single. And next is the designated hitter, Miguel Vargas. Miguel with Vargas is up next. First time through. Up Ooh, and in. That one. And that is a little too far inside. Gets him to chase Bob after that one. Strike. And for a strike. 1-1 one, one now. Just that off the outside edge. Now go 2 of 1. Espinino up. got him Durant. on that one. That's a pop up going into the outfield. Second baseman comes play, under it. Takes the catch. So we give up two runs in the, the second inning, but we're still. The Dodgers well, lead it to nothing. 
So we're going to go to the bottom in a second. Actually, go to the top to of the third, the and we're still down, down to short stop. Gavin Lux. Espino back to work. And that's oh, it for, for a strike. That's left. Throws right. Lux is a first round pick back in 2016. First round pick back in 2016. Oh, and that one got a hold of that one. That air. one's deep in the right field, but the right fielder is under it for out number one. That was the Martinez. The second base. Now it's the second baseman, Michael, oh, Michael Bush. Bush. His first at bat was a strikeout. And he hits a ground ball that right side. Hit and it past stays the first fair. baseman. It stays now there. He and, heads for second. and he's going to make it and in the second. A With a one out double. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right Next on the up, team, David right Dahl. down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Stepping in, David Dahl. In for a strike. In there for strike one. Yeah, that one got away. Here's a 1 1. Back that one is hit back up the middle through the infield. He beats the throw. He's safe. Oh, never mind. It was picked up by somebody, but he beat the throw. Let's see. Let's see the replay. Oh, okay. It was hit by. It looks like it was hit. Picked up. Yep. Picked up by the second baseman, but it was a long throw. Oh, uh, that makes more sense now. In, G -Man Choi. in there, and it's on one. Oh, uh, to say that Espinino's second outing has went uh, not so great, it would be yeah, it would be factually right. I mean, we're sitting at a ground ball um, we're sitting at looking at going possibly 50 pitches. Got it. And the yeah, we're gonna go 50 pitches, and we're not even out of the three innings yet. And now so it's switching third baseman Logan Wagner. I, uh, singled and scored his first I time. don't know how long, how much longer as Fidino's gonna pitch, but we'll strike. see. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You well, that one's hit up the middle. They're and gonna get the, the four shot out. at second that for the final the out. Inning. A couple of hits in the We're still down to nothing as we will enter the bottom of the third inning. Blake Sobel will be the top of the order. Sobel, Martinez, and Biggers. Welcome back. And now the right Still down to nothing as Andy Pages comes back up to Andy Pogs. They call him Pogs, so we'll call him Pogs. And a pitch. Pogs comes to the plate. And there's a strike. And for a strike. You know, this group of hitters doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. They're putting together that one's popped up into the infield. The second baseman coming in, come on and field. he's going to make the catch for that out. Hits. Duran makes the grab one away. Well, oh, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Rushing. The next to hit takes ball one. Don't rushing stuff next. Mm -hmm. First strike. Count even at one. One down, base is empty. He swings and fouls off. off. One second. And a one two. Just missed. Uh -oh, missed to count even for two. Swings uh -oh, through it, strike and that's a strikeout. So we got two outs here in the top of the fourth. Still down two so nothing. The lineup flips over, and now the center fielder, number, number eighty-five. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And fouled off. Ooh. 
That one misses. Going to count one and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Next pitch is in the dirt. Now the count Ooh, is that one got away from me. Right-hander kicks deals. Worm that one's hit on the ground through the infield for a single. Oh, we're looking at Love still top of the floor, two outs. Trusted his hands. Nice job. Paula the other way. is now three for three. And now Miguel Vargas. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, and one. Two down, two down. They say you went. Oh, he said he went around. I oh, went two now. He plays out the pitch. Right. And we got him with the curve swinging. ball for strike three. For Four strike innings three. in the book, still two nothing. So four innings in the books. We're still down two to nothing. Going to the top of the fifth. fifth and we got a run. We got a run. He's someone that you might not Finally describe as having run out. level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Going one. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though oh, they don't have the elite the speed, the fact that they're and consistent back, with it, they make back, moves on the base pass. Caught by the He's got it for out down. number two. We got two outs now going yeah. into the top of the fifth inning. Mm -hmm. So now it's the four hole hitter. Michael, Michael Bush. Bush. One for two. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Ooh, and that one's his feet. Ooh, that that one got away. Is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact, so not getting the swings and misses. And making that Got all of that one, him. but it's two to second base. On for out number two. And there are two off down. the end of the bat. Mm -hmm. So two down now, and yeah. here is still David down two Dahl. one. David Dahl at the plate. And Dahl first hits this one on the ground, but it's foul. Just off the inside. Inside. Count you can get one. Next offering this is a little too far inside. inside. Count was two on one. The wind and the pitch. One, two, and two. So one, two count. Two outs. Trying to keep this at two to one. And he swings and misses that second. So we're going to the bottom of the fifth inning. We're still down by a run. Looking to make a comeback here, hopefully. And keep Espinino on the mound for a little bit longer. Back here at the ballpark. Start of the six. John Shelby was in six city. Espinino still on the mound. Score is still 2 1 as G Man Choi comes to the plate. And yeah, the right hander back to work. That one's and in that's there. A strike. That's strike one. Choi goes six foot one, 260 pounds, and he's a native of South Korea. Strike two. That one's in. Strike two. And that one's up, but he kicks Number this 12, one into the outfield. Right. Center center field is going to range over there, and catch this down. for out number one. G Man Choi gets set down. Logan Wagner digs Logan in Logan Wagner is coming to the plate. That one's hit in the air to center field. Center field is going to come in. He's going to make the catch, and that's going to be out number two. We got two outs, top of the sixth inning. And now it's the Andy Pahes. Pahes is coming to the plate. I'll get the name right eventually. That one's in there on one. And 
a strike in there. Tonight his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. 0-2 now. Gets a piece. Wow. And stays alive. Still remains at 0-2. Swing he swung and missed the, the curve. He swung over so we just go through ball. six. It's Real still a 2-1 game. On to Oklahoma the bottom City of inning number six. Sam the Dodgers had the lead. Two and to one. Lane Krim. Brown Rock's going to look to... Welcome back. back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher oh, on the map. Josh Rogers. That's going to be the end of it for... Pretty tight game. So they're Josh and Rogers. How many pitches out of him right pitch. here? Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now, as we know, we'll leave in the seventh. Rogers is ready to go. Here's the catcher. We are still down two to one. Um, we're going to take a look at Dalton, Josh Rogers, who is 29 years old. 65 overall. I'm going to be honest, I'm not feeling it right now for Mr. Rogers. We are going to look and see who's in our, look at who's in our batting order, who's coming up next. So they're going to be going to the top of the order. That's not what, I, not what I'd like to see. Uh... I'd like to hit with Jackson Churio, but yeah, you know, well, we're gonna we're gonna jump ahead. We're gonna go ahead and get get out of this inning. Oklahoma City is gonna come to the plate. I mean, sorry, not Oklahoma City. Victor Gonzalez is gonna come down to the mound for Oklahoma City as they're gonna get to the top of the order. I. I want to hit with either Ezekiel Duran or Johan Chirino, so we're going to move forward a little bit. Sable grounds out. Martinez struck out. Biggers flew out. Oh, we're going to go ahead and keep moving along. Dahl got a single. So we got Sam Huff coming up first. He grounded out. Ezekiel Duran is up now. And you know what? I want to now, take a swing with the Ezekiel, Ezekiel Duran. Duran. Duran, Duran right now is over two. Trying to prevent extra bases. Trying to get on base here. Keep the inning going. Swing and Duran and a that rolls fouled off the slider. You know, great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If Count he can get goes on, to one. One more thing he's got to think about. That one's hit up the middle. The shortstop's going to pick it up, make the throw over, and that's going to be out number two. Blaine Krim is coming up now. Going to go ahead and move on. Krim struck out. It's going to be Rogers pitching in the top of the ninth. He gets Wagner. He gets Pags. And he got rushing. Jackson Cheerio is coming up. Behind him will be JP gets the call So they're going to bring in the closer, JP Fireriser. And one of our, one of our prospects that we traded for, Jackson Trio, is up to two for three. He's not a power hitter. Looking, looking to get on base. So he's going to take and get into this at bat and try to oh, get deep right into the bat. Man. Ultimately, Bats however Bats he can, part. get to first base. Count goes to 0 one is... I swung too early, and I wasn't paying attention to the fact that the pitch was outside. The tying run at the plate. Got the that back going to uh, soon at strike two. Two pretty nasty two is, Yeah, I want to hit. To I got, I got the bat count. moving a little too You're fast. To you got to look up in the zone. Count to 0-2. on anything that's down. And a fastball down. He fouled off. Oh, in that the one dirt. Is in the dirt. And we're going to get thrown out at first as we strike out. 
Next man up, Justin Forsett. One to two. He had a single on the day. Making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. And Forsett's going to ground this one is short. That's going to be out two. The throw to go to first. And we are down to our last man, and that's going to be Chris Sykes. Sykes going to be looking to keep things going. In there for a strike. strike. Sykes trying to extend his eight-game inning streak here. And that's not going to happen if he's going to fly center. this one into left. The and unfortunately, Oklahoma City is going to walk away with this one to the one. Nice as Round Rock was unable to put together enough offenses to come back. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks I for joining us. I can a decent performance from SMU Not what I was. Not what I was hoping to build on, but a decent performance. He's showing me that he's got something. I, I, I may need to take a little bit more time to work with him to figure him out. That may help me a little bit, but I can honestly say this is a good start for me at least. As far as being able to see what this kid has got going on. Um, the plan going forward, like I said, plan going forward, I'm going to take, I'm going to keep working down here in the minors a little bit, working with some pitchers, some hitters. Um, I know, uh, uh, I know I want to work with, I got Jack Leiter going next, that's interesting. Let me take a look at the rotation. That's weird, here we go. Oh, well, that's right, Kumar is in the We will probably, um, we will be making a trip down to uh, double A at some point, and we will be rocking with Kumar Rocker, and we will also be working with the draft picks that we picked over uh, last season, uh, and uh, Luis Cervantes and Dennis Kingman. We will be working with them, as well as probably working with a couple of players in double A as well. Um, but yeah, that's going to probably be for the next one, the next video, the next set of videos going to be, um, we're going to work in double A, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do about that yet, I'll have to think about that, uh, but anyway, um, that's going to be, that's going to be it for this video, as we're sitting right now, we're six and two, we're getting ready, we're getting ready to start, continue the three-game series against Kansas City. Bubba Thompson is going to be coming off the injured list. And for for the Rangers, it's going to be Domingo Herman versus Jordan Lyles. Uh, for Triple A, it's going to be Jack Leiter versus Randy Vasquez. The next episode we're going to jump into is actually going to be Okay, we will actually be picking up. We'll actually be picking up the uh, set against Springfield. We will be doing, yeah, we'll be doing that set against Springfield because I want to pitch with Cervantes. I want to pitch with Kingman, and I want to pitch with Rocker, and I want to see what they look like. Cervantes and Kingman for sure, since they are recent draft picks of mine. I want to see what they look like. So we will get into that with the next episode. But until next time, see we'll, we'll see you here on MLB 23 the show in the 2024 season with your Texas Rangers as we continue to plot along into the season. Till then, see y'all guys later.